So I wanted to kind of explain a little bit what personal sovereignty is because it's very important as far as with shifting and it's something that I feel is um, very vital for each person to be able to have self-empowerment and to be able to maintain their, you know, maintain keeping true to themselves and not self-abandonment and to be able to um, respect others and receive respect because, you know, I talk a lot about how you can only um, receive what you have with, or you can only give what you have within you to give, like you can't give more. Well, that also goes with receiving, right? Like, full heartedly. It doesn't mean, like, you can't receive it, but as far as authentically and completely, like, really in feeling what you should out of something, like, love or accepting uh, something nice done for you without feeling guilty or shameful or bad or, or like, it's not deserved or, like, it's not true or... It, it'll, you know, not none of that stuff, but actually being able to receive and and give authentically. Okay, but but back to personal sovereignty. Well, it's balancing your masculine and feminine energies. Everybody, okay, masculine and feminine energies within yourself is like your yang and yang, and everybody has both within them because it's you know you just do, and it's it's not related to gender like gender like it's not gender it's not about gender it's about um like your masculine energies is more about like subjective like your um, subjective truth where feminine is more objective truth and masculine is more um res okay for your personal sovereignty it's built on love and respect okay as opposed to without personal sovereignty we have more of a fear base with respect. There's, it's a, then it's completely different. It, it creates what drives us inside, from the inside out, in a different manner as well. So it's like love with res and respect base versus fear and respect base, okay? Well, this um, feminine energy is the needing love part of it displayed, like acting with loving intentions as opposed to fear or control, okay? The whole thing with personal sovereignty is self-empowerment, having, um, not having anybody else control you or, you know, it, it's free will. It's 100% actual free will, whereas the masculine energy is more of the respect line. Well, those energies you need to be balanced within yourself. And when it's balanced within yourself, that's when it's authentically, you're able to understand and see other perspectives and be able to give and without judgment that towards somebody else, okay? And it's also very important for being able to utilize in your heart space and um, big on, it's, 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 it's healing as well too. And it's about your uh, opening and expanding your mind. It helps with that to be able to not have so much tunnel vision from beliefs and such that we that, that drive us that we don't even realize is driving us that are just programmed in there that because we just it's what we're you know became a habit or a pattern or you know it's just what it always is it always was I don't know I don't I don't understand like some of the things like I don't know why I just know that's what it is it's just what I you know it's what I was told it's what I do that's that's it's opposite of that okay so let's see um well, the you want is for polarity balancing, okay? Now, it's part of the balancing this is part of the personal sovereignty. Now, I want to kind of explain a little, that's an important thing to know about that, about why, you know, the masculine and feminine energies within us, each individually, need to be balanced. It doesn't mean that we have 50-50, okay? That, that's not accurate. And it, some women can have more masculine energies within them and be completely feminine, like completely, like, and vice versa. Some, I mean, it, it could be, it has nothing to do with actual gender, okay? And it doesn't make anybody.
somebody more soft or anything or more hard. I mean, if it's unbalanced, it can. If it's balanced, however, is appropriate for that person. There is no right or wrong amount of balancing. It's just, it's, it's individually. So it could be completely opposite in the ratio from one person to another, but that opposite ratio works perfectly for each person individually to be right where they need to be. And if they were to switch it, they'd probably be all out of whack, right? Because it just that's just what happens. So that's and that's all part of um, consciousness, where you know, and commun which is communication within your body, um, outside of your body. Now, the reason for personal sovereignty, okay? It's about respect, self-respect. What it does is built on with balanced masculine and feminine, you have balanced love and respect for yourself, which means you can, that it makes healing easier because you can properly give love and respect to yourself. That entails you from the inside out to be able to authentically and in a healthy way, give it to another. And it's amazing this transformation that comes out of this. You telling you hands down it's you would never even guess it's, it's you would never even guess I'm telling you and it's something that seems so simple but yet so simple is not so simple and it um, is so so important and vital um, but anyways I'm gonna go but it's about now with your personal sovereignty the way to develop it okay and this is about and everybody alive has a right to their own free will to their own personal sovereignty even if they have issues that they can't completely take care of themselves there is an extent to where they have a right to their own personal sovereignty up until you know to an extended amount it doesn't mean that somebody else should be able to control anybody else tell them what they can do what they can't do anything that anybody tries to control over somebody it gets too extreme and it, it puts boundaries and healthy boundaries in place okay but what it does is it helps in um, meeting your needs taking responsibility okay which is vital for everybody everybody to feel that and fulfill that within themselves to be taking responsibility for themselves and, and that's an empowerment okay as opposed to needing someone else to tell them what to do because they don't trust themselves and that that's they're not empowered they're not going to be accountable for things and there's a lot of things that play into that i'll get into more of that later but it's also about um enforcing your personal standards this is what it helps to do these are the four like things about it like the foundation okay it enforces your personal standards which is your inner boundaries it enforces your personal boundaries which is your outer boundaries and it's for goals, okay? Now, the outcome when you do this is self-respect, which then love your neighbor, or respect your neighbor as you respect yourself, or treat your neighbor as you treat yourself. That's where that comes in. That is where people will know how to treat other people. And when you see someone who, you know, it's like they don't have any respect for, you know, they don't, this person doesn't have any respect for this and this and that you're probably right in something like that if that's going on because they don't have it within them for themselves so they don't know how to properly give it or even know when it's appropriate sometimes or not appropriate or have it within them to care enough you know and this it promotes caring enough about things about yourself when you care enough about yourself you care enough about other things outside of you anytime you have somebody who does not give a shit about something there's something unbalanced within them they may show respect in other ways to other things but it's not equally distributed it's not equally distributed there will be conditions or you know that's it, it works so far I mean it, it's something that it can be you know but it adds to division and it adds to other people going further down it's kind of like when you take care of your own personal sovereignty within yourself and your own self-empowerment and you pass that along and just by being it that's that's just energetically just being it leading by example and doing that that's
that's the same thing as doing good for yourself and basically turning around and reaching out for another to help them without actually having to help them just by being that doing that understanding that because people mirror each other we mirror each other we um copy each other. That, that's just human nature. That, that's just how we learn. We learn. That's how we learn. We learn about ourselves sometimes and we learn and we have self-growth based off of other people. Because sometimes when we start mimicking something and then once we realize it doesn't work, we know that doesn't work for us. And then it kind of helps lead into the direction of what does. Sometimes it's trial and error. Sometimes it's not. Um, and when we are children, we mirror or we should be mirrored back also appropriately for each of us individually and that's not always that doesn't always happen but um well with it it's okay also this also with the personal sovereignty the way I'm going to talk about it is it's kind of backwards from what we typically do you don't set your goals first and then do things to meet them first you you develop and get your foundation set for your personal sovereignty because typically, if you don't do that, if it's not properly placed yet, you don't even really know what to make your goals to be. Because you don't even really know what it is that you really want that is your heart's desire until you get your foundation within yourself established. You don't always know. It, it, you, you, it's not because you don't really know yourself. You've never really made decisions for yourself. Maybe, maybe you just always go by what other people think or thought or what you were told. You so it's kind of it goes backwards. You do your goals last, okay? And um, this video is getting kind of long, but that's enough to explaining for that part. And I'll make the next video and I'll get into what a little bit of description of what those four pillars are. Um, but and also know that to be successful, having this in place, it's good because it protects your standards with boundaries. Um, your needs, you identify your needs, you know how to seek your needs, and um, you have that care within yourself to to honor yourself. And um, but I'll stop the video here for now. Thanks.